Goldman Sachs is hosting its annual TechNet conference in Hong Kong this week, hosting some of Asia's leading and emerging technology players. Let's get straight there, where our very own Stephen Engel is joined by a Taiwanese company, a Taiwanese company, I should say, that's looking to beat Tesla's Roadster to customers. Steve. Thanks for my badge. Thanks for my yeah, that's right. Roadsters and EVs. We're going to talk with Royce Hong. Uh, he is the CEO and the co-founder of Sing Mobility out of Taiwan. Thanks for joining us. Hi. Hi, Stephen. All right. So EV is getting a crowded space. China is announcing all kinds of new initiatives uh, to open up the market and to change uh, the internal combustion engine into EV right. uh, environment. You say on your website that the founders of your company have a passion for disrupting the automobile and racing industries. How are you going to do that? You're a small company, only three years old. You only have one product or a couple of products in the pipeline. Well, we um, innovated this um, uh, very, very uh, disruptive, a uh, very different, uh, unique cooling technology for batteries. We, we, we see batteries as the main challenge for, for building electric vehicles. So we developed this uh, immersion cooling system that's in a modular battery pack. That's which they, we have here. Which we have here. You can, you can hold yes. that up. It's like Lego blocks that you can stack them up depending on how much uh, power you need. That's right. Uh, so uh, the immersion cooling system is actually uh, built into these battery modules, and they are like Legos, so you can stack up for different vehicle sizes for a number of variety of uh, different applications. So uh, it en en enables every uh, any vehicle manufacturer to go electric. Now, does that keep the these are what lithium ion battery Isn't cells, right? Yes. Individual ones. Does it keep the temperature down? Yes. So what we do is uh, we actually uh, soak the batteries, immerse the batteries in a non-conductive uh, coolant from 3M. And this is, uh, it's, it's, it sounds crazy, right? You, you, you submerge a battery into a liquid. But this is a very effective and yet very simple way to, to cool the batteries, which we have patented on. And uh, that's why we're able to keep the temperatures down while doing high discharge or high charge rates. Right. Now, is it more critical because you do a, uh, what, a supercar, a rally-inspired supercar? It's not just like a Nissan Leaf or something like that. It's something that needs a lot of power. That's right. So in, in order to, I think we built it, this our supercar uh, with the output of one megawatt, which is equivalent to 1,341 horsepower from Actually, a pretty small amount of batteries is to, to sort of demonstrate and also proof of concept to our bat the effectiveness of our cooling system and our batteries. Now, it would beat the Tesla Roadster, hypothetically, uh, 0 to 60? Uh, we're uh, seeing uh, 1, 1.8 seconds, uh, 0 to 60 times now. I think we can better that a little bit. Tesla's like 1.9? They announced 1.9, but uh, we don't know their final numbers yet. So but hopefully we can, be, uh, we can beat them. Now, are you going to also beat them to market? Uh, we are well into our testing now. So we will be delivering our first cars uh, in 2019. So we will... We're a limited production car. They're mass production. So 20 to 19. start? 19 to start? Uh, we are building only 19, 19 uh, cars and made to build to order. So that's it. That's it. Yes. <laughs> and then what else? So I know that you take this technology and you use it kind of as an R&D platform for other solutions in the electronic electric vehicle space. Tell me about that. That's right. Uh, Zing Mobility is not a car maker. We don't intend to become a car maker. But we are an uh, electric vehicle powertrain provider. So with our battery modules and also our motors and gearboxes that we're developing, we intend to provide these electric powertrain components to any vehicle makers, especially the smaller ones with our Tesla size budget, to empower them, you know, the commercial, the industrial, and the recreational vehicle makers, to empower them to go electric. Now, there are many different companies that are trying to get into the EV space. In China alone, you know, Xpeng, Neo, Byton, mm -hmm. uh, Chen2. And there's also, in history, has been littered with failed supercar right. concepts mm -hmm. that have never even gone to the production line. How are you going to be different? I think uh, one thing is that we are located in Taiwan with uh, the vast amount of supply chain, so we are very close to our suppliers. But they have a history of making, like Kimco, mm -hmm. the master of making scooters, but That's not right. really cars. That's right. But uh, electric vehicle actually level the playing field. So we all go back to the, everybody's on the same starting line. So, so um, I think for us, uh, Taiwan has been known for uh, 
you know, high quality manufacturing capabilities in the supply chain. So we work with the suppliers very closely. And secondly, I think the, the companies you mentioned in China, they're all, they're all vehicle makers that we could very well partner with. So our attention is that besides the NEOs and the, the Teslas and the Volkswagens in the world, there are a number of uh, smaller vehicle makers, such as uh, the uh, garbage truck makers, the, yeah. the delivery vehicle makers, that they are all have the need to go electric. Right. And these are the companies, the, the makers that we're servicing. Million dollars each? Is that what these, how much are these gonna cost? Oh, for, for our yeah. system? The Miss R. Oh, Miss R. Miss R, the supercar, is uh, starting at a million dollars uh, US, yeah. not, not Euro. Yeah. And, uh, um, are they all special order? Are they special already order. committed, 19 sold? Uh, we have about 10 uh, order committed. And well, we haven't actually started taking all the okay. contracts yet, but uh, I think they'll be uh, sold out in no time. It's 